Hello Painters, very excited again to bring you guys some more WizKids pre-release unboxings. We've got about nine different boxes of some upcoming uh, dungeon dressings and we're going to check them all out. So up first we've got the small round tables. This pack comes with three small round tables. Nicely detailed. They've got a little rim around the edge. And just to show you, this is the larger round table that comes with the Rusty Dragon in set. So they're about half the size. So those are cool. I'm going to throw these back in bags with their cards so I don't lose them. Alright. Up next we've got a barrel and pile of barrels. So this time we've got an open top barrel that Looks like you can make it a closed top, or there are different clear. Oops, that one just flew across the room. <laughs> Careful popping these out. Anyway, there are different clear caps you can put in for different colored liquids. And then we've also got a pile of barrels. Very cool. All right. Next, we've got the Navigator's Pack. So, this is different. So we have a little handheld collapsible telescope and a large telescope on a stand. A map with a compass and looks like a stack of maps. Oh, and a uh, Astrolab, I think. Very cool, especially if you've got some uh, ships or boats in your game. All right, now you've got the desk and chair. So it looks almost like a wooden director's chair style. Pretty cool. And a desk with several drawers. They don't open or anything, but looks pretty cool. Let me see if I've got a... mini for scale here here's our uh, dancing girl we just did <laughs> so give you the idea of the size pretty large desk I've already got plans for most of this stuff. 
got some cool ideas coming up. Alright, this one is the Wizard's Room. And it has a bunch of tiny bits. Try not to lose any of these. So we've got a large stack of books. Could go on a shelf or go on top of that desk. And here's more of a, a stack of books. And a smaller stack of books. And one really big book. I have my tweezers for this. Alright, here we've got three bottles clustered together. Three more. These look more like large potions. Squad ear style bottle. And then this looks like a dragon bookend. If you can see that. And a gargoyle or a demon bookend. So that's cool. You can put those on there. On your shelf. On your desk. Like that. What do we have here? Let's pop this out. Oh, cool. Here is, looks like a book. Or a couple of books with a skull on top and then a candle on top of the skull. So that's really cool. And we've got a clear crystal ball. And this is like an urn or a large jug of some sort. Looks like an urn. And what's this? A large clear bottle. And then on this bottom row here, it looks like just a bunch of different clear potions. Bottles of different shapes. Oh, there we go. So we've got like a flask beaker kind of flask. Cone shaped. And this looks like a wine bottle. It's got like a wrapping around it. The little crisscross, like you see on wine bottles sometimes. And then a couple tall, skinnier potion style. And a square potion. And a round potion. And these two have, looks like they have little stoppers in them too. So... Really cool set there. Make sure I get this one zipped up good. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Up next. 
got a workbench and tools. Yeah, I should show you guys the backs of these two. They have uh, rendered colored art. So we've got a scale, mortar and pestle, candle, a workbench, hourglass, and like a pouch with some different tools on it. Let's check those out. So here's the workbench. Next to our lady. And here's the tool pouch. It's got like some pliers, a little mallet, some calipers, I think. Some I'm not sure what all those are. Some yeah, pliers. Maybe uh some sort of carving tool perhaps. And then the little ones. Got a piece of paper with an inkwell and a quill. There's a little scale. Hourglass, which is clear. Moreland pestle. Tiny, tiny little candle. But the, the flame is clear. Very cool. Alright, this is one of my favorite ones. It's a mirror and a bird on a stand. Here's the back. So here's the bird. It looks like a crow type bird. Raven. Here we got the mirror. It's uh, it does not swivel, um, but it looks like you know it should swivel. That style. It's pretty decorative. There are a lot of uh, kind of engravings on it. The back is wooden. Yeah, very cool. Something you don't see. Next we have the Witch's Den. So we've got a cauldron, spell book, a uh, scrying uh, basin, and a lectern. Oops. So there's the lectern. Cool, it's got nice little decorations on it. Here it is next to our dancing girl. And this spell book, which has a really nice back on it actually. 
but it sits or can sit on here. Yeah, I'm surprised they put that much detail into the back of it. Cool. And here's our uh, scrying pool. Or you could use this for like holy water in a temple or something. It's got some nice uh, designs on it as well. Lots of details. And lastly, we've got a cauldron. Well, it has some really cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Cool uh, faces like fey creature. Horned fey faces. And it's got the clear top. And then it's got some of the clear like bubbles out and bubbles over it. So that's really cool. And last but not least, we've got the Magic Deus. Picture on the back. Oh wow, it's like three pieces, okay. So... You have it like that, with just the stone top. Or you can put the sort of sacrificial altar looking top. It's got... This top has a nice design on it, and several skulls around the outside. Several of which have candles your candles it's a uh, you'd also use that as like some sort of a maybe a door or a portal if you held it up sideways uh, Check out the detail on the uh, sides here. It's got like uh, several different faces and tiny little skeletons. Curved into it. There's our dancer. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. So I'm not sure when this stuff's coming out. Uh, I know they've got another release coming in March, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So hopefully in another month or two, this will all be hitting the stores. But, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.